I'm um, getting ready to paint the this room today and it's raining here in Pittsburgh and can't work in the garden like we normally do so um, I thought before I got started I'd take you on a tour of the garden to see what it looks like before everything starts to grow. I'm also trying to find Hank before I go out to get paint to see if he needs anything and I suspect my silly boy is out in the rain somewhere. So we have the deck all cleaned off. Hank is, uh, the wicker chairs are not there yet. He's painted them and they're still sitting in the garage. But we have our nice dining area for the summer all set up. And Hank and Abby have been great this year. They um, planted the window box herb gardens. We have parsley, sage, rosemary, thyme, catnip, cilantro, lavender, a little bit of everything, which is really nice. Just come out and pick it whenever we're cooking. The poor willow tree, of course, suffered major damage this year, as I told you. <clears throat> and we finally got the arborists in to take care of the tree. They had to lop it off at the top, but I don't like, but uh, it was too tall, and I think that She'll come back. She's a hardy tree. She's just a stick 16 years ago, and it's been amazing to watch her change over the years. Anyhow, I got have the pond area all planted and paint cleaned it out. You can see my uh, Andy Goldworthy-inspired fountain that I built. It's a little, little uh, at the wrong angle, but it's still nice. Hank's bed's over there. In the corner with his potatoes and garlic. It's coming quite a master gardener. Let's take a too many shoes as always. Crab apple tree. Lots of birds. I had lots of birds this year. It's been really nice. I think I see a shadow in the garage, so. So I got all the swoop beds. Um, planted except for one and we also had to take down the evergreen trees in the back because they got split by the snow. Hank put in, um, we went out last weekend and bought some raspberries and blueberry bushes to put in the back. Um, so we're going to, I don't know what I'm going to do with that, that bed. I've got to read a few gardening books and talking to some people at work about some designs they saw in Italy. I might try to do something uh, a little bit different. Compost pile, which our neighbors probably don't like, but it's a good way to recycle everything in the yard. So we have the, again, the beds here. Everything looks like it's doing really well. Put a couple new pond plants in. Some of them didn't make it through the, the winter. That's the taro. I can't remember what this one right here is called. And some geraniums. Here's the um, the bleeding heart. I think did you give me that? I can't remember if I you shared the bleeding heart, but here's the Appleby that um, I got from your garden. We put up the baskets on the shepherd's hooks. We cleaned the this whole back area had to be uh, cleaned out, so we put in some bees balm, bee balm, Ameria. Cuchera, coral bells, um, some Veronica, and the pasta. And I found some Lobelia cardinalis, which is one of my colleagues' dissertation plants. It's her plant, which is a native. Makes lovely, pretty red flowers. All these things encourage bees and butterflies and uh, hummingbirds. The poppies are done blooming, and we've got our horseradish and uh, rhubarb ball ready to go for the summer. The big crazy bed of perennials. Hank thinks we should weed it out, but I kind of think that um, all these plants have sort of found where they belong and they have nice companions. Um, I'll probably thin it down a little bit, but it has phlox and rebeccia and it has uh, echinacea, potentilla, um, oh my favorite butterfly weed. Um, this bed is overcrowded and the poor cherry tree didn't make it through snowmageddon. Although she looks like she's coming back there. May let her go for a while and see what happens. 
This is Hank's bed over here. He's been doing a great job. He's turned it into a master gardener. It's been exciting to watch. He's cleared out this area and he's going to plant some plants back there. He has his potatoes going there and some garlic. We have some marshmallow that I planted um, below it. And then some different ground cover uh, in the general vicinity. I don't know if you saw the dogwood a couple years ago. We decided to put more native trees in, so we got a we have dogwood. Um, further uh, above, we have uh, put in a service berry and also a white pine. Still have the um, pass that I made out of the roof um, tiles. The roof, what are they called? Tiles. I can't remember. Anyway, this year we're going to um, put some gravel down on top of them just to add, just to make the pass a little nicer. They're starting to wear out a little bit. Um, so the wild geranium, I think you've seen that when you've come down before. And I love it. He's planted flowers in his, his, uh, his little, the, the Hank garden over here. The roses that I planted a few, well, gosh, wow, seven years ago probably, and I don't do well with roses because I don't tend them and I don't like putting chemicals on them, but these roses are um, antique roses, and they've actually done really well. They, um, this one, I can't remember, I have, I think this one is Anne Hathaway. I have Anne Hathaway in here, and I also have um, Marie Curie. I think this is Anne Hathaway. I can't remember exactly, and I believe this is... Marie Curie. I don't remember what that rose is. I think I still have the label somewhere. But they do quite nicely all by themselves. Hank and Abby planted this swoop bed. Um, some of the stonework that I did the, the needs to be reinforced a little bit this year. Look at the service berry. And again, the white pine. There. So it's coming around. It was quite a disaster after this year and after my seven year sort of hiatus from gardening while I went back to school. But we're enjoying being out here. And it's sort of fun because we've become a gardening team, which I love. I think a storm's on the way. Good day for painting inside into some radio lab and it'll be a good day. He told me to get something. I think he's in the garage. Another Japanese maple here. Lots of peppermint and spearmint. This is a good place for them. They, they tend to uh, grow out of control, but they stay quite nice along the side of the garage. It not cause too much problems. There he is. I forgot what to ask you for. What, what did you tell me to get? Spackle. The spackle. Okay. Just take a picture because we'll take a before and after the wicker chairs. Anyway, I, I, I deleted my garden tour, so I had to do it again. 